Hi guys, I am very excited to um, share with you my review on this um, jigsaw puzzle by um, Kodak. It says uh, premium puzzles and it's um, 1500 uh, pieces. Basically, this is a new to me brand and um, I bought this mainly because I love the picture and that is the number one factor when I buy puzzles. The picture has to be very inviting unless it's um, a very expensive brand that, that I find in a um, discount store like TJ Maxx or Home Goods then I would disregard the image and just go ahead and purchase it. So if you have been watching my channel, I have been um, featuring um, several puzzles from Ravensburger. I reviewed uh, something, um, some puzzles from Gallison and Shaped Puzzle by Paper House. And I think this is my fourth um, a review on a specific brand and which is by Kodak. And uh, I think it's very important that uh, I let the viewers know what I think of um, this um, because uh, I am some, somewhat uh, disappointed. And uh, well, this puzzle is not at all uh, really bad, in my opinion, for the price that you're paying. So Kodak puzzles are priced uh, um, like uh, Buffalo and Seco but uh, in that price range you would expect it to be a, a little you know a little premium quality because like the like the box says Koda premium puzzles so good thing I didn't buy the others from um, from Koda because I wanted to buy this tulip Holland um, garden tulip fields uh, from Kodak as well but I said I'm just going, going to get one and um, I'll find out if it's a good quality or not okay so um, I have never been so disappointed or frustrated <laughs> because um, I find this I've had a hard time guys uh, building this although it's only 1500 pieces uh, it's kind of took me longer than I, I usually would um, okay, don't get me wrong guys. I love the picture. I love the coded quality. That's what we call it. If you have a very, you know, that's what we would refer to um, pictures that were developed in a nice way, coded quality, right? It's The picture itself is glossy. It's very, very glossy. It's very, very, um, very, very real, <laughs> I would say. And it's very colorful. The It's um vibrant that's a plus of course and the price is also a plus i would say i think this was only 14.99 or uh less than 15 dollars for a 1500 um puzzle and that's a good price already <clears throat> and it says kodak puzzles so i was like i've been to ketchikan alaska so i believe this is in ketchikan and i was like okay i love it unless i'm I could be wrong, but uh, this is just so reminiscent of um, Ketchikan, Alaska. Okay, because that was one of my favorite ports when I used to work on cruise ships before. All right, so it's 1,500 pieces. The box itself is um, it's a little bit thin. It's thin. It's of lower quality, of course, compare that to Ravensburger. And compare that to Buffalo. Yeah, this is very thin, guys. Look. So I don't know if it's from Koda or Crazy Art. It could be from Crazy Art. Oh geez, it could be from Crazy Art, I'm sorry. So um, I really don't like this brand Crazy Art because it's like the lower end brand of your Crayola, of your crayons. <laughs> and I still prefer crayons, guys, because Crazy Art doesn't have that. Um, I'm talking about crayons this time. Okay, so Crazy Art, crayons, they don't have that uh, nice uh, finish look once you've uh, finished uh, your project or drawing or your coloring. So compare that to Crayola. This is um, this is cheaper 
and uh, it's uh, lower quality all right so the box itself is very thin it's so thin but um you know who cares about boxes right unless you're going to stack them up then i would uh, suggest that you put this uh, on the upper upper part or the top part okay so as not to get smashed okay so um this was very easy to build i would say but it's just that it took me a long time because the pieces guys they just fall apart if you've um watched my puzzle haul yesterday i was still finishing this up i just finished this and i couldn't wait uh to give you my honest review okay i cannot tell you how many times i have um i had to rebuild this some bits and pieces and now that i was just on my last last bit to fit and i was just preparing this for for a video guys i don't know let me just tell you what i'm talking about okay so the pieces they're standard size look look guys they do not interlock at all and you cannot even transfer not even a minimum of two two um things that you have or two pieces that you have already put together you cannot even transfer them i had to transfer them bit by bit as in one by one and now because of the poor interlocking thing on this one mechanism on this one they don't interlock and there are holes sometimes you know it makes you wonder does it fit here because so, some pieces do fit in one um in several places but they don't really really fit there belong there so you just have to check the image okay look at that the plus side is that it's vibrant and uh, yeah i love it i love it i didn't have any problems with this everything is complete it's just that they fall apart and that is so frustrating so i think unless they improve their um quality their interlocking you know mechanism then i would be definitely buying this because i just can't believe that they that kodak also um manufactured the one of the biggest puzzles like forty thousand plus how could you possibly build that if you know this is just 1500 it's just look at that guys look at that now i i, I did not uh, fix this just to show you because I finished this already and then I think I had my elbow here and it just lifted and look at this. Okay, so, uh, okay, the first things that I built on this ones were the roofs because of, the, you know, the, the distinct colors. There's pink, yellow, yellow green and things like that. The hardest bit was this this uh, flower flower thing here in the flag i i spent a long time in the flag and also the sky as usual it's the sky that uh, most of the time gives me a lot of headaches so this is what i'm talking about this is the puzzle pieces themselves are really sturdy very thick very thick very sturdy very glossy plus that's a plus of course plus the price is a plus okay but look at that guys look at that it just lifts it lifts okay i've never had a puzzle this poor quality that you know i've damaged this several times and so, now i think this is my last thing i'm just gonna have to you know put it back now compare a raven's burger this is a raven's burger and this is a um, this is a um, Kodak. So in terms of quality, this is really really hard. I think it's even harder than Raven's Burger. This one bends a bit. The Raven's Burger bends a bit. This one, oh jeez, this one is really really thick. You can't bend it, guys. So that's a plus. You can't bend it. Not that it matters if they don't interlock. So, <laughs> so I hate it. It's just, okay, thickness and everything. I really don't care about the thickness because, you know, look at these two. The thickness, they're almost um, the same. 
the yeah there were uh dust um pieces uh, dust things yes i even, um they do have a lot not a lot that would that would overwhelm you but uh yeah and uh, Yes, so Ravensburger, you can bend them. I could bend my Ravensburger and some of my, I've done two Ravensburgers and so far I, some of them have peeled off here, you, you've bent this. So I don't know, I know it's premium quality, but so far two of the, of the Ravensburger puzzles, they've lifted, <coughs> I'm sorry, they have lifted, okay? So the back of the Kodak, as you can see, is really, really poor quality look at that it's lifting and all that but so far i don't have any problems with uh, well that's just the back with the front itself so uh so thickness and uh, sturdiness yes um this earned the high one of the highest points you cannot bend it you can't bend it this is like very very hard this is the ravensburger it's more flexible you can bend the ravensburger so um yeah guys so i love the pictures the box the the box is a little bit thin and um it's i, I didn't have problems with the glariness or because most of the time you have to stand up anyway because it's too far although i can just um you know move this puzzle board i have not dismantled the puzzle board um I had to tape uh, four puzzle boards together, okay, so I could accommodate my Ravensburger 3,000 pieces, and I have not um, dismantled it since, so it has stayed there. Maybe I will, uh, I will have to buy a puzzle mat uh, as, as big as 3,000 pieces, so I could just roll up, because um, basically we're not eating here, <laughs> okay, my kids are eating in the kitchen. <laughs> Uh, a la buffet style okay so there you go guys so um oh jeez see look at that jeez okay and they just fought and look at that there are some spaces you can just see the spaces guys so uh interlocking uh, uh ability or quality is really really poor and i can't believe that you can't even transfer two pieces together they will fall apart i've tried that guys and they would fall apart each time so there was a big piece that i have uh, already built on probably like 20 or 30 pieces 20 pieces i had to transport it with a with the help of a um, like a card or something and it still fell apart so i would give this rating it's the lowest in my uh, rating guys in my puzzle rating so uh well just to be fair i would say this is a from out of 10 i would probably give it a three because of the price it's uh, neatly priced it's cheap and at one point, Michaels was even doing a sale and they were only $5 for 1,000 pieces. But I didn't buy those uh, when they were having a sale because I couldn't find them at the store anyway. And at the same time, um, uh, the price, the color, the thickness and sturdiness, yes. Poor, poor box. I would say it's uh, very, very thin. And it is sque squeezy, squishy, <laughs> squishy. See, you can, you know, easily uh, puncture this. And uh, because I like my boxes to be sturdy and, uh, of course, um, invincible. That's if you, you're going to stack them up together. So, but the picture, guys, it's really Kodak quality. I love it. I love, love the picture sturdiness and everything interlocking of course that's the first thing that you would rate on a puzzle how does it interlock it's like i would give it zero zero at all not even two pieces would attach together guys if you transfer them so that has been my experience i am not really sure if it's the same if it's the same quality compared to the other kodak uh, puzzles because uh 
I have done Seiko and some of my Seikos uh, would interlock really well and they're really, really pretty good, but some would be really thin and just really problematic. So, and I've heard some uh, YouTubers say that uh, one brand, uh, I think that was White Mountain. No, it's not White Mountain. It's the bits and pieces. Some of them would be okay. Some of them would be not okay. So I, 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 I'm not sure if it's consistent. So uh, maybe I'll give it a try again, of course. But um, I just love, love the picture, guys. And uh, uh, it's just too bad that I have to... Um, I have to vent my, you know, frustrations on this one, okay? I was really, really upset. And of course, this made me more upset. Okay, guys, I will have to fix that. Okay, all right, bye.